What? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. Who the fuck are these guys? Stay the fuck back! Joel. Put your arm around me. I think we're safe. Joel? Joel? <laughs> Shit. Joel, here. Oh, get up, get up, get up. You gotta tell me what to do. Come on. You gotta get up. Joel? Landed on my hip. What the hell? I thought I was bitten. I know. It was kind of awesome. You're not gonna kill me, are you? I haven't seen you, and I don't even know how long. 45 days. Well, 46, technically. Wanna know what I've been up to? All this time, I thought you were dead. Yeah. Here. Look. No way. Still no roommate? I had to sleep under Liz for three years, and you know how bad that girl smells. You're a firefly. You still have it up. What? What are you doing? I'm making sure I don't get caught with a firefly in my room. Relax. There are no soldiers on the entire floor. Here, congrats. Hey. Are we cool? Uh, are we cool? I disappeared and you're mad. Yeah. And I owe you an explanation. Let's get out of here and I'll tell you all about it. It's almost morning and I have military drills. You know, where we learn how to kill fireflies. Put some pants on and let's go. <sighs> I'm so dumb. Oh, come on. When have we ever gotten into trouble? Shit. Come on, give me something. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put you on your side. <clears throat> Jesus. I have some time. Find something to stitch you up, okay? Callus, keep an eye on him. I'll be back in a flash. Promise.
Welcome to The Last of Us Left Behind, where today we'll play The Last of Us Left Behind. Which, I, I'm completely guessing, like, this game, um, the only thing I know about it is, uh, what was shown in, uh, the TV series. And I've watched somebody play it a couple times. I think like once so I don't really know much about the this like why we're in a mall to begin with is kind of confusing to me <coughs> but uh whatever I'm just uh okay I'm not really sure what the goal is yet. I'm just going to keep running around. I feel like I'm supposed to be finding supplies and stuff like that because all I have is like half health and like li literally nothing. So I want to like explore and stuff like that, but I'm not sure Shit. where or what. <sighs> I definitely hear those noises. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm assuming that's not where we go. There was some, there was a drop down over here, but maybe that's just a, another way up. Yeah, just another way to go. And I also seem like a way I can jump over the barrier over here, so. Nope. Just the way down. Okay. Let's keep playing. And walking. And stuffs. And things. So The Last of Us Left Behind. The only thing I know about it is it shows uh, Ellie and Riley. Uh, from what I understand, uh, she talks about in the game. Um... And that's really all I know about it. I don't actually remember at all any of this that is currently happening. So I am, uh, I am scarred. Weston's Pharmacy. That sounds promising. Well, I guess we're looking for, a uh, medicine for Mr. Joel. Because this takes place, uh, in the David arc, as y'all would know from the interesting. Thanks, Tutorial. What the hell? Did you just swallow the pills and leave the bottle? <laughs> God. This is really dark. Everything's picked clean. <laughs> you gotta believe. Believe to achieve. Pharmacist. Oh, Maybe he's Pharmacist got something. This went crazy and attacked me, and I hit him pretty hard.
first aid kit. How the fuck do I get inside? Thirty-five right, three left, thirty-one right. That worked. Shit, spores. If you're gonna jump out at me. Key. Pharmacy. Let's do it. Bro, she just bullied that. A military helicopter. Oh man. That's gotta have something. Hang in there, Joel. <clears throat> she bullied that uh that thing's even bomber. It'd be cool if they had more DLCs. Um off the top of my head, the one that I can think about is like Marlene and like her way to the hospital. Cause she didn't make it there first. And she was there for a while, as opposed to, like, us. So, she's like, you couldn't imagine what I've been through. I've been through much more than you've been through. Not this way. Mm, so it'd be nice to have seen, like, the mayhem that went on in her story. Among other things. Um, another good one would be, like, Bill. Um, I'm not sure what the story for Bill would be. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, just, just other stories and stuff like that. Maybe Bill before and after, if he really does die like he does in the show. 
unless you haven't watched the show, then I'm like, oh, whoa, what? Bill dies? No, he doesn't. What? Sorry, I've been watching weekly, so people have been waiting and haven't watched yet. You wouldn't have been there, or you wouldn't have seen it yet. <laughs> oh, is this another way? Yeah. Alright, let's keep going then. Uh, so there's a thing called snow blindness, I believe it's called. Where, like, the oh, snow shit. is so bright, you just get blinded by it. It's kind of crazy. Ah, that's a lot of words. Chief Warrant Officer Larry Col uh, Colfield died bravely this afternoon. We were flying back to the QZ when our patient turned. It must have been the, store the spores because none of us saw the bite. The patient broke through the restraints and fell upon our pilot, W.O. Sean Brendan. Uh... Even with the helicopter spinning out of control, Officer Caulfield fought the infected patient, saving our lives. We crashed in a rural Colorado mall. Private Eugene Ellis, Officer Caulfield, and I were the only uh, survivors. Eugene Ellis sounds familiar. In subduing the infected, Officer Caulfield was bitten on the neck. He immediately showed us the bite and accepted his fate. I executed the infection protocol before Officer Col Caulfield could turn into an infected. May he rest in peace, Captain Reagan Francis, 4th Infantry Division, Denver QZ. Alright, and I'm assuming that's who this is? Ah, no sutures. Well, at least I can use this. Is that gauze? Okay. I guess this one's for me. Speed run the DLC, just take this back to Joel. I guess she's looking to sew. I guess, I wonder what she learned how to sew. Feels odd. So I'm surprised she's just like completely out of everything considering she has like infinite bullets. Here we go. fast there. I'm impressed. Thanks. Well, come on. Up we go. So, no, how did I you find them? Here. The firefly? Yeah. <laughs> remember that firefly you bit and stole his gun? Yeah, I remember him. That's Trevor. I saw him walking down the street, so I tailed his ass. I follow him into this alley, and all these fireflies ambush me. They took me right to their hideout, to Marlene. Were you scared? Terrified. I thought this time she would actually shoot me. But instead, she just says, what took you so long? She was expecting me. And she just made you a firefly? Something like that. That whole almost killing me thing was a test. She wanted to know I was here. Oh. Oh, it's Marlene's. I'm curious as to Marlene's relationship with everyone. And how Ellie ended up in like this military QZ. Well, she'd know more than me. Come on. We're making good time. Who do you hang out with these days? I don't know. No one really. What about Tino and the rest of the guys? How are they doing? Riley, those are your friends. Ah, but you talk to them. Yeah, I guess. I don't even remember if we fight in here. And like the like flashback. Have you found the light yet? Oh, har har. 
Oh, Car I'm sorry. Car I didn't hard. mean to offend your people. So what? You buy into this whole thing now? All I know is that I'm not a soldier. Thirty days, my ass. People are getting infected all the time. They just do a good job of hiding it. You've run into more infected? As part of my initiation, they actually made me kill this. You know, let's talk about something else. All right. This reminds me of Uncharted Shit. a little bit. Hiding on the rooftops and stuff. Man. Sorry. I'm a bit jumpy lately. <clears throat> Careful, it's wet. Hey, so... Maybe I should join the Fireflies. Ellie. That was the first thing I asked when I knew. She wants you safe at that stupid school. I'm not even supposed to come see you. Mm, okay. Why does she care? She's worried I'll get you into trouble. Yeah, yeet. I wonder what Joel's life would look like without, like, if Ellie just never came into it. Tess and Joel would still be alive. I also have no idea where she went. I'm just wondering, like, what Joel would be like, what Tess would be like, the where they'd be going. Here. What are we doing here, Riley? I have a surprise for you. What? Is it a dinosaur? Maybe. I'll be your friend again if it's a dinosaur. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. Could I not explore this? Even if there's nothing. There's just so much empty space. There has to be exploration. <coughs> okay. There was an exploration. Squeak a chair. Charles Jones. This is in 2013. I know that much. Um, kind of wish there was like 2013 things happening, you know, I wish they had like that, that, uh, Easter egg ability, and put just like stores that were there in 2013 that shut down, maybe like popular references, before like the, the world went down. I can't believe Winston's gone. You heard? Yeah. Do you know how it happened? <laughs> they said he just fell off his horse. Heart attack or something. Man. Well, how many people get to die of natural causes in this world? None that I know of. Exactly. So, let's see what he left us. What? Is this Winston? <laughs> Man, guy used to be handsome. Bingo. Want some? Oh. Nah, my girl uh, flies straight. More for me. Cheers, Winston. <laughs> Ooh. That's strong. I say that purely out of personal wow. opinion. I don't care for alcohol. A lot of the time, it doesn't taste good to me. Which I guess is kind of the point. It's more to like get buzzed and stuff, but you know, no, not for me. Hmm. What happened to Princess? I assumed after Winston died, they took her. Poor horse. She's probably out there terrified. <clears throat> Cookie. 
I could go for some ice cream. Especially from the fancy stores. They go real good. Uh, Ellie, help me lift this. You got me fucked up. Do I look like the Hulk? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> How about we find another way? Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Sounds good. Uh, the only other place I could see is the store. Okay. Hey, Riley. I was correct. You know what? I'll get you up and over. See if you can unlock it. What? Me. I want to oh. go up. So smoky. <laughs> you dick, that's two wow, times. That's today. rude. <laughs> How the hell did we never find this place? Come on, I got the perfect mask for you. It's kind of been quiet so far that this is somewhere they actively go. <clears throat> Wolfie. What is that like a wolf man or something? Put it on. <sighs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad ass. Now for our... <sighs> roar. Roar. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Fucking roar. <laughs> there she is. This feels like bullying. Let's see what else this place has. Ooh. Ask Skelethier a question and shake for your fortune. Okay. Are we gonna die today? Nothing. Huh. You gotta turn it over, genius. Oh. <laughs> Seems dreadfully unlikely. Ah! Whew, what a relief. <laughs> Will I drive a car again? I feel it in my bones. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, you do. Are we ever leaving this stupid quarantine zone? <clears throat> the answer is in limbo. So, there's a chance. <laughs> How many can I do? Am I ever gonna get to play a video game? Your chances are dismal. Fuck you, Skull. <laughs> Am I ever getting boobs or what? Oh, oh. The spirits are quiet. <laughs> <sighs> of course they are. A wild question. Are you a butt face? I am dead certain it is true. Well, <laughs> that settles it then. I'm, I could do this for hours, I'm not gonna lie. Will we ever get our water guns back? The spirit nods yes. Ah, the options you hear that? are on this. Because we're getting our water guns back. Let them go, Ellie. Let them go. No. Can never. Will Riley ever stop sucking at poker? I can hear you, you know. The signs aren't clear. Up. Oh, there's still hope for you. No. <laughs> I've given up on that. You can have poker. 
<clears throat> Is that it? Sadness. I could do that for so long. What a weird helmet. Pair it with the back hat. What is it? <laughs> Adorable. Oh, what Why the heck? You kind pigeon. <laughs> what the heck? Let's see what else they have. No, I refute the door. I must explore. Those masks are even cooler. Masks. What? Vampires are like my thing. What the heck? I am Count Dracula. Hmm. What <laughs> actually, Countess? <clears throat> I am Countess Dracula. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Is that bleach? That's the scariest thing here. Let's see what else y'all got. What, what else? What else? What else? This thing's cool. I wish I could see that thing. I've never seen a mall with that. Cauldron of Shadows. Two horror tales. Hey. I'm going to walk out with the parrot, but I want to put the witch on. No, 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 no. Can I? I'm walking out with the witch because I'm not doing this again. Okay, let's go. This DLC feels really dark. Ah, I got an idea. Is it Yayit? Yayit. See those cars down there? Yeah. Red one's yours. I'll be blue. We throw bricks. Whoever breaks all the windows for their car wins. Are you kidding me? I'm like the brick master. <laughs> right. Brick master. Loser has to answer a question. No sarcasm. <laughs> what is this? Truth or truth? All right, fool. You're on. Oh. Yeah, you like that? She said it. Yeah. She's the brick master. All right. Two down. Dog, I'm like almost completely done. I'm gonna break one of hers. Wrong card, oh, whoops. Yes! <coughs> Brick! Fucking master! <laughs> My car had tougher windows. Yeah, whatever, loser. All right. I broke one of her cars, too. I'm scared. Um, Why did you lash out? Did Marlene mention my mom? Why did you leave? So... What does Marlene say about my mom? Not much. I gathered that they were friends even before the outbreak. Oh, and she said your mom was a nurse. A nurse? Apparently they like argued and fought a lot, but they were close. Sound familiar? <laughs> Wait, come on. Let me show you this thing. We're almost there. Brickmaster. I wonder what she would have asked me. Oh, it cares, so. Let's go. What are we doing here? This place is creeping me out. 
So. Creeps me out too. You know how we thought they only powered certain areas of the city? <clears throat> yeah. Follow me. Hey, yo. Ellie, this way. Hold on. What if there's a loot? Oh, it does a lot of words. Major Banks, this will be my third request in as many weeks for additional patrols in my area. With the Hartford QZ falling apart, the city has been in, in, inundated with refugees, many of which are coming through the mall because of the lack of soldiers over here. These people are desperate, and in most cases, they enter the city infected. As you've seen from my reports, I had to neutralize three stage ones just last week. I realize resources are scarce. But if we don't get more security, I'm afraid this mall will get overrun in a matter of fuck. Fuck, fuck. Fuckity, fuck, fuck. You're not going to listen to a word of this. Forever your lackey, Sergeant Winston Asher. He seemed angry. He seemed a, a bit angry. How dare you? How dare you give me a door to open? As if there was loot inside of it. We propelled by the powers beyond me. I have to find loot. Red light is never fun. Red light means safety. So, turns out the whole city has power. <coughs> they just flip the circuit breakers. All you gotta do is flip it back. That's kind of sus. There's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Wait, so the whole mall is lit up? Let's go find out. That's a wall. You ready to see this? Wait, I... I know what you're trying to do. And... I'm really glad that you're not dead. I mean, I'm glad that we're back together and- I didn't mean it. All that stuff I said before I left, I didn't mean any of it. Riley, you're such a sap. <laughs> and she started it. <laughs> oh, man. Are you ready? Totally. <sighs> Are you kidding? Oh, we're going back, okay. <sighs> we have to find what's inside of the hell of a chapter. It feels nice to have like all the gameplay mechanics at my will once more. Hold on, I see loot inside of here. I'm curious how much I should be looting at all. Now, you know, I'll take one of these. I'm gonna be a big baller and assume that I'm just not going to take damage. But it'll be useful for taking out a lot of infected, but like little to no resources. With supplies running low, Private Eugene Ellis and I entered the loading docks in hopes of procuring additional rations. We were caught off guard when a group of roughly half a dozen Stage 2s attacked us. We neutralized the threat, but not before Ellis was bitten after a heated debate where Private Ellis, Private Ellis tried taking his own life. I incapacitated him. I then took it upon myself to break protocol. I isolated the infection with the tourniquet. I gathered and cleaned a surgical saw from the abandoned triage. I injected Private Ellis with morphine before amputating his arm several inches above the bite. I'm confident that once the Private regains consciousness, he'll be cleared of the cordyceps infection. <clears throat> I'm curious as to if that would work. You know what I mean? We don't we're not really given a time frame for how fast he you know cleared said cordyceps. Because for all we know it took a few hours for him to do so. In which like the infection would probably already get like 
do a lot of him. And there's something right here. We do learn how to make these from Bill up until this point, so that's good. I don't think we have learned any crafting recipes like before. Hopefully this isn't the right way to go, but who knows. Uh, let's see, brick. Two beds, I assume that's from the two. All these supplies, we're totally not going to get into a fight, right? Just RNG loot all of a sudden. Oh, we just circled around. Let's see, some more loot right here. Um, there's two more beds. There was only the two, wasn't there? Just curious. Maybe somebody stayed before, uh, beforehand. Uh, the military chopper broke. I mean, like, they are, like, completely clear. <clears throat> okay, assuming I have to open that. Kitty. Fucking cat. What? Kitty. They're adorable. They like pets. Oh god, it's freezing. Come on. Oh, I can't go through there, I guess. Maybe we're looking for like another way through. Up and over. Jesus! Are you trying to kill me? Yes. For how graceful cats are, they're also like extremely ungraceful. I think cats are just known for like knocking shit around. this see more bullets see some snacks for no reason of course just snacks laying around as they do um so I'll go back there if at all possible. If not, I'll just, you know, miss the loot. There's cutting going on in the background, by the way. So, many apologies for that if you can hear said uh, lawn cutting. More bullets. Um, there's the circuits. Petville. See, that's locked. We're just in the wrong area, I guess. I guess we do gotta go over here. <clears throat> I'm getting my brick out to one shot whatever crosses my path. Here's the generator. Before I do so, I just want to make sure. Here we go. End of the line. <sighs> Nothing. Out of juice. Damn it. <laughs> Super hot fire. Private Ellis has taken a turn for the worse. He's burning up and he couldn't keep any of his food down. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe the amputation was too late. Maybe 
when I'm not watching him, he'll turn in the infection protocol. We did what we had to to Officer Caulfield. We, who the hell am I kidding? We murdered Larry. Ellis held him down while I shot him like a fucking dog. I can't get his screams out of my head. Regan, please. I still have time. Don't do this. Ellis, what have we done? What if I just leave? What if I just make a run for it? I'm sorry, Ellis. Regan. I knew a Regan once. I wonder what happened to them. Let's see. Oh, some gasoline. How handy. <sighs> Empty. Oh, I'm gonna have to siphon Maybe it. I can find some. Absolute fire. See, that's locked for now. I'm actually gonna keep making this. Oop. Well, maybe I can siphon from here. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I had picked up a brick when I did. They dodged my brick power. Oh. Run. I can't believe two of them dodged my brick power. That was like the perfect uh, enemy. To dodge the uh, the thing that I was trying to do. <clears throat> Empty. Did you just sniff it? Can you do that? Also dry. I guess it makes sense. The uh, biggest tanks would uh, have their things siphoned as well. Let's see. Yeah, there's just bad boy. Ah, jackpot. Jackpot. Alright, how do you do this? Take the hose and siphon it out, right? Uh, here we go. Is this really how you do it? That feels weird. Alright. I should do it. That can't have tasted good. Then maybe she's buzzed enough. Come on. Forced to drink alcohol either way. I wonder how much power that actually holds. Oh, damn. Note to self, don't touch electric water. Got it. I wonder if that's something she just didn't know before. What a neat thing to learn. Oh, nice. Oh, does she have like notes? Switchblade. Riley's Firefly Pendant. Riley Abel. 
Walkman for Ellie. Sam's a robot. The no pun intended. A uh, note from mom. I don't think I've ever read this actually. Ellie, I'm going to share a secret with you. I'm not a big fan of kids and I hate babies and yet I'm staring at you and I'm just awestruck. You're not even a day old and holding you is the most incredible thing I've done in my life. A life that is about to get cut a little short. Marlene will look after you. There's no one in this world I trust more than her. When the time comes, she'll uh, tell you all about me. Don't give her too much of a hard time. Try not to be as stubborn as me. I'm not gonna lie. This is a pretty messed up world and it won't be easy. The thing you always have to remember is that life is worth living. Find your purpose and fight for it. I see so much strength in you. I know you'll turn out to be the woman you're meant to be. Forever, your loving mother, Anna. Make me proud, Ellie. That's sweet. Here's this. No pun intended. Oh boy, they got jokes. Uh, it doesn't matter how much you push the envelope. It'll still be stationary. What did the Confederate soldier use to eat? Uh, used to eat off of silverware. <laughs> what did they use to drink with? Dixie cups. I don't get that one. Anyways, I'm not gonna read all of these. What did the triangle say to the circle? You're pointless. What did the cannibal get when he showed up to the party? Late. A cold shoulder. Uh, I heard two peanuts walked in a, into a park. One was assaulted. <laughs> Anyways. That's cool. Um. Oh, okay. I can't walk in there either, huh? Good to know. Like we're going this way. Easy. Easy. Keep looking straight. Everything's gonna be fine. <clears throat> not gonna fall into that water and find a crisp. Of course not. Whee. Hold this brick just in case someone tries me. Let me see if there's something over here. On top of this hood. Seems not. Good to know. There are two doors. Let's try the big one. Nice. Some good loot. Good loot. And the small one. <laughs> uh, I'll take this up. Wonder what's in these boxes. I wonder if this is what they used to use for these things. No. I don't know. I just use pallet jacks and they just stick them on pallets, which these are on. Um, trying to figure out what I do. Uh, I'm actually not sure. Uh, yeah, I actually have no idea because I'm pretty sure from what it looks like you just go over here. Oh. And that would be the issue. I was curious. I was like, well, what's what's the... Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah. I scared the shit out of me. Whatever, that should work. 
Does it? Oh, it does. Very nice. Ellie now. Get used to it. Press the button. And then we go to Petsville. Yeah. I hear you. This one shot knife is glorious. Very nice. Let's see, there's some more loot. These guys just not fucks it lights. Listen, we gotta finish what we started. Okay, that should be all of them. Get the hell out of here. See dude, this knife go crazy. I'm gonna make one of these. Now I can finally take damage in peace. I'm curious what, like, say this was the health bar, right? How would it realistically work in real life? Like, how much damage would you actually take from a hit? And what would, like, a little bit of damage, you know, medium damage, heavy damage, and... You know, death mean. That's a uh, all there is, what I can tell. Okay, we're bomb. We have a lot of medicine and stuff. Now we're looking for is like the sutures. It'd be funny if they killed each other. They're having a party. Listen. One. Magic words whenever she says anything whatsoever. Star better fucking work. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, helicopter. Let's do this. Very nice. Let's see. Still got to look for that loot. Oh man, a voice. Oh. Hello, Alice. I found a 
found a couple recorders. Maybe we can, you know, document this whole thing. It gives me an excuse to talk. Even if it is to myself. You hit me pretty hard the other night. I'm not gonna lie, that shit still stings. I was trying to feed you. You actually accused me of stealing your food. You got any idea how hungry I am? I mean, I know it's the fever talking. I left you, you know. How I even managed to get a good ten miles out before turning back around. It's like you say. We sleep together, we eat together, we shed together. This unit is a family. So no, no. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> Sounds like he's just gone. Oh fuck. Okay, be cool. Just Oh, what a yee ye thing to do. What the heck? That's going to be the last of this episode. And y'all have a good one. Till next time.